So this is an absolutely fantastic time of year for colour, in particular yellows and blues. But as you can see me, we've got a good spray of white behind me. And I can actually smell this at the moment, and this is hawthorn. And uh, today I'm going to be making some tea with it. You can use the leaves for tea, or the flowers, or both. And I'm going to use the flowers today and do a little hawthorn flower tea. Uh, I know it's a hawthorn because of the leaves and also because of the thorns that are in it. Uh, some people have a particular skill to get the thorns and make a uh, fishing hook out of it. That's not something that I've done yet, but I'd like to give that a go at one point anyway. So I'll collect some flowers. So for lunch today I have chicken, pepper and mushroom that I want to put on a stick and cook over coals. And I'm looking for some green wood. And this is willow and it's bent over here. Uh, if I scrape my knife along it I'll see that the, it's green underneath. I want green wood because when I put it over the coals it's not going to catch fire. And uh, I also want to be aware that there are toxic woods out there. Yew tree, horse chestnut. Rhododendron, uh, you don't want to be taking any of that and using that because uh, they can poison your food and yourself. Stay clear of uh, pine wood as well. I think the resin in there can taint your food, but also maybe catch fire. So we're going for the willow and I want some green wood. Right, so I've just spent about 30 seconds looking for my knife and uh, was in my hand. <laughs> anyway, really easy to work. I'm just going to make a pointed end uh, so I can put the stuff over. And uh, some people leave the bark on. They say that's because it stops it from burning and catching fire. I don't know. I might scrape this off. We'll see. Uh, a couple of other woods to look out for as well that are toxic. Uh, holly, ivy and laburnum. So just to take care when you go and get your wood. Uh, I think hardwoods are okay, like oak and beech as well. And what I'm going to do just now is prepare my fire and uh, we'll be grilling them on on that there. Under here, an underground slate oven. A little bit difficult to see but there is slate on the sides. Okay, I'm nearly ready with this. Uh, this is all oak wood, so I want to cook my uh, chicken skewers over a bed of oak coals, basically. Or, uh, and uh, I'm going to use some birch bark to get the fire going, and some sort of uh, dried uh, material that I found when I went for a walk before. Some mini sort of upside down uh, fire type thing, <laughs> and we'll see if it works. Okay, so the idea of course is you have the fire on the top, 
and it's the reverse way round so you normally start off with your small wood then build up but this one's the other way it's big wood on the bottom and then it I've built it up and so the small wood's on the top light it and it should just burn down over a period of time and uh, that should be my work done for the day in terms of the fire Just wanted to take all the wee knots out of the wood but it kind of took off most of the bark anyway so I'm just going to take it off. Right so that's the Hawthorne flower tea. Very very tasty actually I really like it. It's green probably because I had the stalks the odd leaf in there as well. Really nice tea. Just going to hope that the fire collapses in on itself, if not I'll get a stick and poke it through but uh, at the moment I'm just going to leave it and we'll see what happens. Righty ho, so if you want to see nice uh, straight skewers you're in the wrong place. <laughs> They're a bit bent and I'm happy with that. Probably the wood of choice actually if you really want straightness is uh, hazel wood but this is willow and I'm going to start putting this together. This is chicken for sort of peri peri spice in there, oil and this is pepper and mushroom a little bit of oil as well Right, well, that's not all for me, that's for the wife and myself, and uh, fire's not quite ready yet, might give it a poke soon, yeah, we'll see, and uh, just to say, hands are nice and clean, uh, just handled the chicken, washed them, so thanks for the advice Nicola, I listened to you. <laughs> This is some beautiful Scottish asparagus. From a region not too far from where I live. Despite the height, that's really hot. So the heat coming out of that is still really really intense so I put an extra couple of rocks there to raise this uh, grill here and I was actually going to take the rocks away and then lower it down as the fire went down but that heat is still really good. This, this asparagus is just charring up very nicely, it's absolutely roasting to touch. Um, this is cooking lovely, absolutely beautiful, colour on that is perfect, we're not far away from being done, going to give a little bit longer, looking forward to this. The asparagus. Very, very tasty. Lunch is ready. Uh, over the years that I've been cooking, one of the woods that I've grown in love with is oak, and it's something that I'm starting to cook more and more with now. And this method of cooking is something else that I like now, and I'll definitely be doing this again. Together with the oak, it's been magnificent. I lit the fire and it's burnt down to these coals. I can't even really hold my hand over that. I can a little bit to about there. That's starting to get hot now. So this is all done. This is a potato salad, green leaf salad with the Scottish asparagus.
doesn't fit on the plate, that's okay. If I was going to be entirely honest, I could cook again on this. There's so much heat in there, it's lovely. Pepper's nice and juicy, chicken's cooked, the mushrooms to try. Mm. Right, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to go and join the wife and eat my dinner. And uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers. Okay, that's very nice. There's the stick. Held up very well.